on guys, TechRex here. So we're going to be boiling the brand new iPhone 6S. We're going to see if it survives. If you guys remember my last year's video on the iPhone 6, about 10 to 15 seconds and it dimmed off, but then it went to life again. And then I put it back in and it finally died. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens this time around. So it's still sealed here. You can see, yes, let me go ahead and take it right here so it's completely naked and uh, again here it is guys so there's the water let's go into clock and I'm gonna do my best to start and drop it so and as you can see it's going strong seven seconds whoa look how quickly look how quickly okay so we're gonna let it get it just you know warm up in there for a little bit because it's probably gonna wake up if I just pulled it out immediately so let's go ahead and just flip it there oh, oh. water just sprayed on me Ooh. okay there we go there we go all right so let's just Give it a couple minutes here, or a couple seconds, or whatever. Okay guys, so pretty crazy. I actually thought this phone was going to die for sure. It completely blacked out. I was not able to turn it on when I kept holding the power button, and I put it in the freezer for a couple minutes for it to cool down. No Apple logo, no temperature warning, nothing. But then I plugged it in, and bam, look at this. Just like brand new. I don't even really see a difference, but if you go to, um, well, if you go to, like, clock, you could see there's, like, a weird strip right here some um some issues with the display but anyways this time i've got a timer next to me so i'm gonna hit start and just literally drop this thing in there so let's go okay check it out whoa whoa the ringer went just way up water's boiling time to put it in again so again still works perfectly fine There it is. And I assume it's going to fade off. Yep, temperature warning. And we're just actually going to let it boil on here for... I'm, I'm going to try and let it be in here boiling for as long as I can. And then uh, after maybe about 10 or 15 minutes of boiling, I'll take it out and see what happens with it. So for now, let it just keep boiling. Boiling for five minutes straight. I think it's time for the freezer, so let me go ahead and get this guy out. And it'll be back in the freezer, so I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so the phone has been freezing in the freezer for about 30 minutes. You can see there's even pieces of ice stuck onto the back. And I'm going to make sure and see if it turns on right now before I drop it in there. So, oh, there's, I think there could be... I think there's something, there's like ice stuck inside the the port. Man, let's actually warm it up in here. Of course, why not? Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm afraid this is going to like blast or something because it's super cold. Ooh. What is that noise? Guys, hear that's like little mini explosions. You've got to be kidding me. Look at this. Sorry, it's super hot, so I, I'm i barely holding it, but iPhone needs to cool down before you can use it. This thing will not die. I, I swear this thing is the most durable phone I've ever tested under boiling water temperature. Um, again, it was in there for like five minutes straight, then in there for five minutes straight again, um, and it just won't die. So I really don't know what else to do, guys. This thing is a survivor, and I feel like if I'm going to keep putting it in there, putting it back in the freezer for 30 minutes, putting it back in here, it's kind of useless. So um, I, you guys can pretty much say this thing is, is it survived. I mean, that's it. So the iPhone 6S can survive a boiling hot water test for numerous of times and you know a prolonged amount